Hi, this is Ija from Origo. Uh, thanks for interesting the white paper walkthrough. And this is the fourth day. And uh, before we talk about like uh, what's Origo and what we aim for and the, the overview of the protocol. And today I'll we'll go to a little deeper of the technology or like the, the detail of the protocol. So uh, I think I won't won't cover the whole like protocol in today's lecture. I guess like um, tomorrow I may finish it. So today we, we will mainly focus on the commit and the part of the execute. So this is the this is the protocol we we talked about yesterday that we have like commit uh, which is submit the, the hash, submit something and then uh, to to the blockchain to record it and then execute is like sending those data to off chain to do computation and shadow is like a bring back the verif uh, bring back the proof and verify that and then go through so yeah this is the overview i just want to like like everybody to catch up and uh, so there are actually like several roles like several like uh, yeah several roles in this protocol so why is contract participants? So this is the this is the user, right? The user wants to like uh, keep the input and output private, and the, the other role is the executor. So the executor is actually you can in in our protocol is like you can think about it's off chain, so it's execute the contract off chain, and uh, he needs to like submit a result and a proof back to the blockchain. And the blockchain is in the middle. It's like a connect to the participants and also connect to the executor. It does the blockchain stuff, like a, like normally all, all of the blockchain stuff, like decentralized, like trustless, whatever, and like scale, scalable, that's the middle layer. And uh, what what else does, does it do? It's like uh, you verify the proof. I mean, it's, it's normally not doing on other chains. And also like uh, distribute the fund based on the result. This is similar. So that's how the rules. Uh, that's how the rules, right? So let's first uh, go to the phrase. So the the first phrase I want to talk about is like uh, the the four phrase phrases. So about the protocols we mentioned a protocol like say uh, commit, uh, execute, settle. But before that. We have like a, actually we have an initial. I will mention it later. So actually, the full the full protocol has four phases, and uh, we have two timeouts. So which is like a, this timeout means means it's like a, it's a it's a connection or it's a sequence. Be, because the four phases need to happen in sequence. So initial first, and then commit after that, and then when commit ends, execute. And then when execute ends, it goes to settle. So this is so which means it's like a commit need to happen before execute. There's no no thing can happen within execute before commit ends. So that's that's the T1 and T2. So T1 is like in the middle to separate separate those two steps. This is I think. You already have some idea why T1 is there because this is to ensure the fairness. Because if I start execute before commit, then maybe some like a participant haven't commit there, haven't partic ha haven't like commit their inputs, so they they haven't like a uh, sign up or join the join the game. So that's why there need there needs to be have like a time to between the commit and execute. Okay, so. So let's talk about the phrase. The first phrase, the initialize. I mean, uh, lots of people. I I haven't mentioned that yet uh, before in the protocol, but it, this is straightforward. It's like a, uh, for the off chain executor, how do you choose that, right? So, so there are several ways to choose it. So you just think about it, it's like it could be like a parties to elicit uh, like a nodes, to like a so it could be like a random selected. Or they can like uh, choose them as a choose as themselves. It depends on the depends on the contract defined, or depends on the requirement. So um, so the the main idea is like uh, you need to choose that before 
excluding everything because that node need to have all of the inputs. So actually that node need to, need to have the ability to decode the, the inputs. So that node's public key will be shared shared to all of the parties, all of the like participants. So so they so they know that they need to encrypt their data by this node's public key. So that so that these executors can de decrypt the inputs and then do the computation. Okay. So that's the initialize. And the, after initialize is the commit. So the commit do is like a, yeah, it's commit the harsh to the smart contract. And then the smart contract verify, okay, this, uh, the hash of the inputs and the coin, it's valid, and then freeze the coin. I think, yeah, probably you, you don't understand what is what is the detail of this stuff. So in next slide, I'll talk about this. So <coughs> for the detail of the commit, it's like uh, there, are two, there are only two roles need to participate in it. So executor doesn't need to be participant in this stage. So what participant do it's like all each party need to freeze the coin that they want to deposit so what what mean by freeze so it's something like for for like a pop uh, for usually if you don't want the privacy for your input money then you, for normal blockchain you just okay uh, send the money and then then the amount will be showed right but within within the situation that you want to protect your like amount, you don't want everybody know your amount. So then you just say, okay, I have some coin, and then this coin has a value, and then this value I don't want everybody know it. So I just want to say, okay, I freeze the coin, and this coin has some value. This value could be proved by like a zero knowledge proof, like similar to Zcash. You just think about that. So this is this is a, this is this step. The logic, the background logic, or the, the mathematic logic is similar to Zcash. It's like a, I freeze my coin, which has some value, and then this value could be verified by like blockchain, but it's a zero knowledge proof. So I freeze my coin, and I want to deposit uh, deposit. And also, I commit a commitment. This commitment contains two stuff. One is the coin. You can think about this as an amount of the input value. So about the say uh, how much money I want to input. And the other the other part is a input. So I stand for like inputs, and uh, which is a private. So which means like uh, this is my let's say rock paper scissor, and C is like five bucks. I want to bid. I want to bid for for the win, and then I is the the choice. Say it's it's rock, and then I did a harsh or like something to 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 make a commitment. So CM, and then proofs CI. It means the that's the proof for the coin, right? That's the proof for the coin that I say oh, I I had that coin. So I have that I have that amount of money. Zero zero not proof. And uh, this proof will be sent to blockchain before T1. T1 is the the uh, the separate time before uh, bef it's it's like say before execute, right? So before execute, I need to submit the proof of the coin and the commitment to the blockchain. So what blockchain do is like you need to verify this proof proof CI is valid. So which means like verify this coin is valid. So it's like you have this amount of money, you are not joking, and then, um, and then I need to freeze that coin, because I I don't want this coin to spend in another game. So so before this game ends, you need to freeze this coin. So so blockchain do is like a verify verify this proof CI. Say you have enough money, and uh, freeze this CI, and say okay you cannot use this money for other stuff before finishing this contract. And uh, the second step, the second uh, job the blockchain do in this commit is say, okay, I recall this commitment so that it's immutable. This is pretty important, and it's because um, you want because the blockchain can offer the function that say 
you record something and then make it immutable. So by doing this, then all of the participants cannot change their input after the after the after this step. So which can ensure the fairness, right? So this is the so this is the detail protocol of the commit. So so it's like a participant uh, need to prove okay I have enough money. But zero not proof say oh okay, I have enough I have like uh, enough money and then also commit a commitment and say okay this is my input I cannot change it anymore and then record on blockchain okay that's that's the commit step and what's compute do is the second step after commit when all of the member commit uh, when when all of the participant commit it goes to second stage or like after a timer it goes to a second stage it goes to compute like each party opens their inputs to the executor so the executor can actually run it if you open means that you 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 send the data to them to the executor right and the, the executor run the contract off chain and then generate a zk proof back on chain so this is the this is the basic idea i will talk about the detail so the detail is like a, <coughs> there are actually three roles participant in this stage today i will mainly talk about two roles uh, one is participant and one is blockchain so what the participant in compute stage do is like send the encrypted data so you remember that in commitment you don't need to send the data you just need to submit the commitment so which is the hash of the data but this step you need to send the data because if you don't don't send the data then the off chain cannot get the data so so actually cannot run the stuff but you send the encrypted data so that no one can actually decrypt it, right? Except in the executor. So you send the encrypted inputs, private inputs, and the coin, so which is the amount that you, you want to participate in, in this stuff, uh, in this contract. You send this encrypted data to blockchain. And also, you need to prove, so you may think about, okay, you send the data, then that's the commitment, but whether that's the whether the data it, whether you send the data is correct because it's in, encrypted so the blockchain cannot decrypt it to to verify okay that's the commitment that's the hash value so you may think about okay this is how to do that then you also need to provide a zero knowledge proof to the blockchain say okay the encrypted value i send to the blockchain the the encrypted value I sent to the blockchain match my commitment in last step so that the blockchain can verify. So, so this is the two, two stuff do. So one is like a sending the encrypted data to blockchain. And the second is like a provider proof say, okay, my encrypted data match my commitment because blockchain cannot decrypt it. So, so blockchain can only verify this by verify this proof. And then what the blockchain do is like first recall this encrypted data, so make this encrypted data not changeable, and the second is verify this proof that the encrypted value match his commitment. So which means that okay, you are not cheating. Currently you are sending the data, which which is encrypted, but it matched the commitment in last step because when I verify your zero knowledge proof, it proves that you're actually sending the correct data. So that's the that's the second step. And the, the third for blockchain do is like, it send the encrypted data to off-chain executor. You may think about why the why not the participant directly sending the data to, to the executor? Because if participant sending the data directly to executor he may send some like a cheating data he may send like a he may send another inputs which are not because it's not not routing by blockchain which means it's not recorded so if he's somehow hacking the uh, hacking the executor then you will break break this rule for fairness so by by going everything so blockchain is suit like a bridge between the participant and the executor. And because blockchain can record everything, so all of the all of the data from participant to the executor need to go through blockchain, then 
then the participant cannot say, okay, I don't send anything, or or I send like a correct data, but which is incorrect. So the blockchain can get guaranteed that. So this is the this is the blockchain do in in the compute step. And uh, tomorrow I will I will talk follow on talk about the compute stage. Um, I will mention what executor do when in this step when getting the data. And uh, and the follow on and the follow on settle protocol tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for listening to today's tutorial or walkthrough, and uh, see you tomorrow.